Hey y'all, today is sowing from seed day for our spring 2021 plantings. Let me show you what I'm getting in the ground today. I have a collection of here of blue cocoa pole beans, winged bean, these beautiful purple Japanese beans, some yard long beans that a family member shared with me, purple potted pole beans, and sunset runner beans. These are a beautiful peachy color. I've already made my tags and stuck them in the places where I wanna put them. Now with the square foot gardening method, you can do eight pole beans per square foot. This bed length here is four foot long. I'm gonna be planting in the first one foot of it. And so that would normally be eight per square foot times four, that would be 32 plants, but I wanna do five different types. So I'm gonna do six per type to have grow up this trellis. And we'll see how that works out this year. Now we're at our squash bed where we're, we will be companion planting with some marigolds and uh, some nasturtiums and maybe even some borage. We'll count, see how many seeds we have left. These are the seeds I have here. This is the borage. That packet feels pretty light. I have marigolds, petite mix, dwarf jewel mixed nasturtiums, empress of India nasturtiums, and a tall climbing mix. This one we're gonna put between the squashes that are gonna grow up the trellis. The nasturtium spacing says 15 inches. So I'm really only gonna plant one per square foot of the nasturtiums. The borage will be the same. The marigold mix, this one also says eight to 12 inches apart. So I'll separate out these uh, flowers here. I'll just alternate them. Marigold, nasturtium, marigold, nasturtium. These are what the nasturtium seeds look like. I think these are pretty cool looking. They're really ribbed and kind of cork-like. <laughs> this is what marigold seeds look like. These are gonna fly everywhere. <laughs> this is what the borage seeds look like. This is all I have left. It's about maybe 25 or so. I think I have enough to put some in this bed with the squashes and the rest in the beds with the tomatoes. In this tomato bed here, I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of the borage by seed. It'll be a fun comparison to see if this tomato bed with the borage by seed does any differently than the borage on the other tomato bed that were started inside and transplanted. I wanted to come back to the squash bed for a moment. I found these seeds and I wanted to put these in the ground, the Seminole squash. This is a native squash to the Everglades in Florida. It's supposed to take heat and humidity really well. Uh, so this is one of those survival food type situations where if the food system collapses as we know it, these might be what we live off of. And then I also have these small pumpkins. I wanted to try these out too. So I'm gonna put two seeds each here. I have my tag Seminole and small sugar pumpkin. I'll put two seeds each in there. This is what the Seminole pumpkin seeds look like. And this is what the small sugar pumpkin looks like. Very similar. I 
And those are about an inch deep. And lastly, I wanted to put in a couple of um, okra. I have the orange, the Jing orange, and the Clemson spineless. I'm just gonna drop in a few seeds in this uh, flower bed part here and on the other side, just because I like to experiment and we'll see how it works out. They'll be um, roughly three quarters of an inch deep. Let me show you what the seeds look like. So that's what Oprah seeds look like. Okay, y'all, well, we got a lot started from seed today. This marks pretty much the end of the beginning of the spring 2021 growing planting season. All of my transplants are in and the vast majority of my seeds are in. I'm sure as I start looking through my seed collection, I might find something or something else I want to add in. Um, but I think pretty much everything is in. So we'll give this about a week or two to really get acclimated, see things start popping up, and then we'll do a garden tour. Can't wait to show you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.